Good morning and welcome to Second Grade Music. I am your teacher, Mr. Burdick, and uh, today is Jersey Day. In the Burdick household, we're trying to make things interesting. So, unfortunately, we cannot have music together as a class. So, I have put together a small group of videos that you can watch um, when you get a chance. And uh, this way, hopefully, you can remember the stuff that we've already uh, worked on together as a class, uh, as well as maybe learn some new topics that we can pick up when we get back to school. Um, so today I just wanted to start by saying I miss you all and uh, I hope to see you all soon. But for right now, let's go ahead and get to work on something that we've already done in class. You remember the song, Love Somebody? Uh, why don't we go ahead and sing that together and then we'll review what we did with this song uh, before we had to leave school. So uh, let's review the song together. Ready? A. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, but I won't tell who. Do you remember the song we played the game? Uh, let's actually sing through it one more time. Join me. And uh, let's go ahead and tap the words as we sing the song together. So ready? Here we go. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, but I won't tell who. So with this song, other than the game we played, we were talking about the rhythm. And we started our year reviewing the rhythms that we knew from when we were in first grade, which was ta for one sound, tt for two sounds, and the kind of angled Z if there were no sounds, meaning our voice is taking a break. And so later, uh, we added a new rhythm that had more sounds than what we had here. I don't know if you remember what it was called. If you do, say it out loud right now. And the rhythm was Mississippi. And we didn't, we called it Mississippi because we didn't know what the rhythm was. We knew it was four short sounds. So we drew the four dots, and then we went through the song. So the, these first three phrases were pretty easy. They all had the same rhythm. And they went tee tee, tee tee, tee tee, and ta. All right, so I'm gonna do the same here, same here, same thing again. When we got to this last phrase or musical sentence, this is where we had a bit of a problem. So heartbeat one was the same all the way down. We didn't know what to do with heartbeat two, so we kept going. We see that it's one sound here, so we did ta. And then for heartbeat three, won't tell two sounds, we did tt. But this was where we had our problem. Um, and so what do we do when we're trying to figure out rhythms? Count the number of sounds. So when we looked at this, we said ba, di, but, i, four sounds. Beforehand, we didn't have a rhythm for four sounds, so we called it Mississippi and drew our four dots, right? So um, why don't we go ahead and tap that last phrase together. It sounded like this. T, T, Mississippi, T, T, Ta. Easy enough, right? We played some games, played rhythm basketball, there are a couple other songs. Then we decided to actually solve what it was. So the process was simple. We went back to first grade with our long sound and short short. And remember the story of the fans. All of my long sounds got picked up so that they were no longer long but tall. So we renamed them Ta. Okay? Tall without the L's. What did we do to the short sounds? Well, first thing we did is we added two ta's on them, right? They look just like the ta's. What did we do? Oh, we added a roof on them. We renamed it teet teet. So I want to use this same process, but with our new rhythm called Mississippi. So first step, what am I going to do? I'm going to draw the lines coming up from the short sounds. In this case, I'm going to draw four of them because we got four short sounds instead of two. Well, they look just like tops, right? So what's our next step? Do what we did here. We're going to add a roof to it like so. Well, now they kind of look like TTs, 
four of them instead of two of them. So what was the final step? Well, remember I talked about in a lot of houses, underneath the roof, there's that area that some people can go into and some people can, some people use it for storage. Um, but what do we call that area below the roof, but above your first or second floor? We call that an attic. So I'm gonna add my attic like so. And then we kept the TT for the first and third sound, but then we're gonna add a ka in the middle, and the final rhythm is ticka ticka, ticka ticka. So if I go here, step one, raw, my line's coming up. Step two, put a roof on it. And final step, add an attic. So the rhythm looks different. We call it something different, but it claps exactly the same. So let's try this phrase with our new pattern. T, T, ticka, ticka, T, T, ta. Why don't you go ahead and do it with me? Ready? Here we go. T, T, ticka, ticka, T, T, ta. And so that's how we turned our rhythm called Mississippi into our new pattern that we're going to call from now on, Ticka Ticka. So I hope this was a fun little review. I hope you get a chance to view this. If anything is confusing, feel free to start the video over and watch it again. Uh, look, This is episode one. Look forward to future episodes where we're going to explore this rhythm a little bit more and then look at some new concepts as well. So thank you very much and have a great day.